Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, my name is JC and I thought I'd finally talk about the tragic hair situation I went through. If you guys are interested in knowing about my hair, how I take care of my hair, the worst style to do and kind of like breakage issues and whatnot, then just keep on watching. All right, so it all goes back to probably two years, maybe a year ago. Honestly, I'm the worst with like timelines and stuff, so don't quote me on that. But it was a while ago anyways. I have it filmed. I haven't posted it yet because even in the posting, I didn't even realize how serious the damage was till the next day. But essentially what happened was is I decided I was going to try volume developer 30 instead of 20 because then I thought, you know, with my logic, I thought it would save a lot of time, which it could and it, and it can, but the problem was is I didn't really plan out the processing point of leveling out what sectioning I was going to do, so therefore I didn't really have the sectioning down pat like I do now. I definitely left this, the bottom layer on too long, so instead of splitting my hair into three or four sections, I ended up doing it in two or one i think i try to do it in one to be honest so i started at the base of my neck and i was bleaching it so i had the bleach sitting on the base of my neck for the longest and i kind of went up around my face and luckily i didn't touch any of this part right away i touched just right behind my ears and all of that part underneath my hair broke and it was like this short and I was devastated because not only that, I had some major breakage happen on the top part of my head as well. It's kind of grown out now, but it was like literally this short, okay? It was literally that short. And I, I honestly did not know what to do. I was freaking out. I was just grateful though that I was able to hide it in some sense until... All right, so after that first bleaching session that went like gone wrong, I totally was scared to bleach my hair again. I'm not gonna lie, like I waited quite a while. And you know, if, if you guys have any bleached hair and you know, you know that if you wait a certain amount of time to bleach your hair, it will actually leave a lot of banding. So that's something I didn't really wanna do. So I was really hesitant, but I was like, I knew I, knew I needed to get this done. So I honestly, um, you know, let my hair get really, like I oiled it up for about a week before I bleached it just because I wanted to have the most strength and like the most like, like barrier to have around it, I guess. And so that's what I did. And when I bleached it, I used 20 volume. I was never going to use 30 volume ever again because I just didn't trust that. Up until then, you guys, my bleaching points were so good. I'd have to bleach it like maybe twice and then use toner. But I would have taken that over anything. I would have taken that over burning off my hair like any day. I would have much rather done one more bleach round than have my hair burn off, right? So, you know, I was being really impatient and I thought, you know what, if I just up my 30 volume developer then i'll be able to just finish this off i won't have to do a, another round of bleach and i absolutely messed things up okay so basically i put everything on and i didn't have the right sectioning i guess and so when i put it on i, I thought okay i'll leave it on for extra time which was the worst decision of my life i literally remember it was like kind of burning a little bit and that is kind of expected from bleach, but I got in the shower and I rinsed everything off. And because it was just the bottom layer underneath my hair, I didn't really feel it. And I didn't really know notice like huge clumps or anything falling out. So I didn't like get upset or anything in the video. Like I'm like fine. I didn't realize till the next day. Okay. So I was like, okay, that went well. It went perfect. I was like really excited and happy. For the results but then the next morning came around and I was like looking at my hair and I could see and feel like when your hair breaks off or burns off it gets really crispy at the end because it was just burnt off and I had a lot of that happening underneath and I could feel it so I picked up my hair and I could literally see where it burned and it was like a whole line and I will say <laughs> 
I was upset. I was distraught. I cried for a freaking minute. I cried. But then I realized, okay, if I didn't notice it yesterday, it's not that big of a deal. At least it's underneath, like underneath my hair. And I'm very, very, very grateful that all the times, because this wasn't the first time, you guys. I have one more little story to tell you before <laughs> um, I end this video, but at least, you know, I will say you have to be very careful where you overlap and where you first put the bleach because you never, ever, ever, ever want to overlap that, okay? Like, I'm just going to say, um, it's very, very damaging and very scary because you could lose all your hair if you do that. So, I have my hair part right here. So, that's where I first bleached it, but luckily, I started it a little bit underneath. I can't believe I'm about to show you guys. But I accidentally got, I don't even think you can see it right now, but all right here, all right here is like a tiny thin strip is just like short hair. I don't think you can even see it. I'll show, I'll try and show you guys, but there's like a thin strip of hair gone that burnt off right there. And it goes from right here all the way to right here. But at least you can't see it, right? Like, if I had never told you that, you wouldn't have known that. But it's just very, you have to be very cautious with bleach, especially when you're platinum blonde. Like, I am, I'm not going to lie, you guys. I've been debating recently if I want to get some more dimension in my hair. Especially just because having platinum blonde hair is just so, like, fragile. Like, I have to be careful with it. I can't just throw it up into a messy bun like I used to, which I used to love. I used to absolutely love throwing my hair up into a messy bun. It looks so cute, especially with blonde hair. But it's literally the most damaging style you could possibly wear. Um, so, <laughs> it's not really worth it to me. But, but at the same time, it's like... Uh, it looks so good, especially when you're just chilling in sweats and whatnot. But I will say I do rebuy my extensions probably every six months. Um, every six to eight months, I probably rebuy re a set of extensions. And then, yeah, I kind of just go through them. I don't wear the full set at once. I kind of just mitch match my old set with the best ones and then kind of like go into it that way so I always have extra hair so that I'm not like using the full set the full first time if that makes sense but yeah anyways if you guys have any more questions about my hair um just ask me I have no problem answering any questions you guys can follow me on my youtube channel I get a lot more hair questions and I have way more hair videos over there so if you guys are interested, it would mean the world to me if you guys could follow me. So with that being said, I will see you guys back in my next video. Peace.